Hey everyone, what's up? It's Brian here and I wanted to take just a quick moment today to talk about sympathy, empathy, and compassion. These three topics may sound unrelated to computer science, but they are super important in industry and they form the foundation of what is called ethical computing. So these three topics have popped up a lot in my manager meetings recently. Um, I've been on a manager engineering focus and sympathy, empathy, and compassion are ways that you can relate to the customer, relate to your product development cycle, and relate to the engineers that are under you or even above you. Now these are often overloaded terms, so I wanted to take the time to first define these three terms before we dive into why they matter. So first off, empathy is the ability to feel what someone else feels in a visceral way. This means that if someone stubs their toe or someone is going through some hardship, you know what they are feeling. And this term is described as mirror neurons a lot of the time. So basically you are able to have a one-one connection with how that person is feeling because oftentimes you may have experienced it before. Next up, sympathy is the ability to understand what someone is feeling or going through, but not necessarily mirror their emotions or what they are feeling. This is a bit more complicated of a topic because you are understanding what that person is going through through a abstract non-visceral way. You are sympathizing with how they are feeling. This may include topics like grief, happiness, lust, jealousy, things that other people are going through that you may not have experienced, but you are able to relate to in some way having not experienced them. And now lastly, compassion is a bit of a synthesis between the two. Compassion is often what we, I think, think of when we think of empathy or sympathy. Let's say we describe someone as a compassionate person. This means a few things. One, you are aware of the other person's state. You express sympathy towards it. You want to see them have relief from it if it's sad or it, to carry on if they're happy. And four, you help provide some sort of solution or some sort of support for them to accomplish it or resolve it. Uh, in summary, you are responsive to helping them get out of or maintain how they feel. That's what compassion means in general. Now what's interesting about this is empathy is actually one of the harder ones to truly achieve because it's a lot harder to walk in someone else's exact shoes as a baseline than people make empathy out to be. I think a lot of the time when we talk about sympathy, empathy, and compassion, we are really talking about sympathy, whether it's in a happy or sad uh, term, and compassion is what we try to strive to achieve, but empathy is often overlooked on how do we actually attain true empathy for someone. However, now with all of that aside, why does this matter to software engineering? Why does this matter to tech or computing? Well, as we program more and more, we start to build things ourselves, we go off to work for companies, uh, we become professional engineers. And not in the IEEE sense, but we are working engineers, software engineers, architects, developers, whatever term you might be labeled. And something that a lot of schools or a lot of engineering groups try to teach is for us to engineer with compassion and engineer with integrity and know that what we are building will benefit the world in some way or move humanity forward at least. An interesting point on this is this is often worded as program with empathy, code with empathy, build products with empathy for your customers. However, we really can't build code as a single engineer or a team of engineers, assuming that we are walking in every person's shoes that this software may touch. Say you're building Facebook, like a lot of my friends work at Google, or you are at a military contractor or any other software company. You are not going to be able to walk in every person's shoes. So instead, I think the term should be that we want to build software with compassion. And that is something that I've seen a trend of towards in the Bay Area as an engineer, that we are trying to build products with compassion to the users, not necessarily with empathy or sympathy. Those are two quite different terms. Yet, if compassion is a synthesis between empathy and sympathy, then what makes it different? Well, this ties back to the concept of responsiveness, how compassion is including the responsiveness of someone's uh, state. And I think as software engineers, we want to be responsive to what our users are doing with the software, how it affects their day-to-day -day lives if we're building social media, how it affects their mindsets, or how it may benefit or demerit from their current life. Likewise, if you're an engineering manager, you want to make sure that you're compassionate to people that report to you and people that you communicate with above you. You want to make sure that you empathize with as much of their personal state and what they want to gain from this project, as well as sympathize for some of the hardships that may come with it and also provide ways to resolve those hardships and gain some productive experience out of the whole engineering track. So that is why people should be compassionate engineers and compassionate leaders. Thus, the main takeaway from this short video is that you should strive towards compassion as an engineer or programmer or whatever you are. If you get a job in engineering and get into the workforce, the topic of learning kind of shifts to a topic of communicating and this becomes such an important thing to deal with in the day-to-day -day workplace. And this is because products aren't just built by one person or two people generally. It's built by a whole team of people. In my case, the company I work for has hundreds of engineers working towards the same common goal 
of a responsible ethical software that also serves its customer's base really well. So what this means is that we are thinking about the butterfly effect of what our product does and how it impacts everyone on every level. And this becomes so common in the workforce, but it's something that's often overlooked at at school, and I wouldn't have even thought about it had I not taken a class in ethics and computing back when I was in Berkeley. So this was just a little brief summary of some of the topics that that class talked about and something that is heavily focused upon in manager meetings at my current job. So yeah, the main takeaway is just be a compassionate engineer, have fun with learning, and yeah, stay tuned, see you next time. But yeah, and before I fully end this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment, do whatever you want, and stay tuned for my mentoring services. A uh, number of people have commented that they would like one-on-one -on -one support or email or coaching from me about a career in computer science. So I will be launching a service like that through Patreon or some other form. And uh, stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.